Hi, my name is Magnus from SolidTech. I'm going to quickly show you how you can create a louver inside SolidWorks. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw out the louver shape. So I can use my simple sketching tool. So I want it to be 200 by 2 meters. I want to draw a line for the center there. I want the first height where the louver is going to go is 100 and I want the entire height to be 2300 right, I can now see I've got a, a simple wireframe sketch with SolidWorks I'm now going to use a structural steel so I can pick from Australian standards I can say a rectangular hollow section and I want it to be a 75 by 50 I can now apply those beams to these sketch element drawings. I'm just going to locate that profile so it's mapped it. I'm going to do a new group because I want to do the other side and all I do is again pick the sketches and I'm just using locate profile because my actual dimension to the outside and we can see that little profile that was going to the inside there. Again a new group I want to just pick this beam here we can see it's coming at uh, the wrong way around, so I can just rotate that by 90 degrees. Again, I'm going to locate the profile so it's in the edge. Again, a new group for the bottom section. Again, I already know that I need to rotate at 90 degrees. And again, I'll just locate the profile so it's sitting on the outside. Lastly, I want a section down the middle there. So again, new group. Select that edge. Very quick, very simple. Locate profile, parent to start there. Done. So I can see I've got some uh, overlapping here with SolidWorks. I can quickly and easily trim that up. So all I need to say is those two elements, those two bodies there, the structural beams, want to trim with those ones. Done. SolidWorks has now trimmed that back so I've got an accurate cutting list. So the next thing I want to do is put that louver in. Again, this is uh, being able to draw this louver up. You can create your own profiles, uh, steel profiles if you need. They can be imported um, DXFs if need be. Again, I'm just going to locate that profile so the louver is sitting there. And the nice thing I've got the ability to do is change the angle. So I'm going to say that louver is at 30 degrees. You can see my louver is going to be too far. It's extending all the way through. So again, I can use my trim extend tools. I'm just going to trim that louver so it becomes, instead of one, it becomes two, two sections. Right, I now want more louvers up the side here. So I can actually pattern that to save drawing it again and again. So what do I want to pattern? It's going to be that louver and that louver. I'd actually like 30 of them, uh, but I can change that. I've got it set with equal spacing at the moment. And there we go. Quite quickly, quite simply, I've got uh, louver drawn up inside SolidWorks. I'm now going to actually add a aluminium material. We've got a, a large material library, library available. And I'm going to bring in a color as well. So let's just say with this one, it's perhaps a, a beige. I can adjust that color to suit as well. Uh, we can actually predefine some colors if it's maybe like a color bond color. So I'm going to say this, uh, let's say we've got this bright red for this particular customer. Okay, and um, we're maybe trying to convince them that, uh, that that might be a bit bright. So for them to understand it a little bit better, it might be easier if they see it on their building. So with my iPhone, I've actually taken a photograph of the SolidTech building. If I edit this scene, you can actually just browse to a, a JPEG photo. go I can open that up so I need to kind of tweak with the the perspective here so I can actually add a camera it's, it's very very simple very quick and easy to do I'm just going to locate it on that point there I'll play around with this um, this angle and let's see
Okay, that's um, that's close enough for this uh, quick example. So if I hit spacebar, put the camera on. Okay, so now the customer can see what that's going to look like on their building. We can actually render that out for them as well. We've got all these tools to save it out as a, a nice clear image. So I'm going to add some information to this part. So I can add uh, my name that I drew it, uh, part number, it might just be the customer number. So I'll just say 12345. Description is uh, solid tech louver. Uh, you could even add a cost. I might say um, this uh, cost $424. Manufacturing information, if you want, uh, can be added. So I might just say it's fabricated and it's a painted finish, and yep, ready to go. So we need to create a drawing of this. Um, I'm just going to save this part. And we'll just say um, uh, solid tech louver. Save. So I quite simply now need to create a drawing. Very quick and easy process inside SolidWorks. I'll pick my A3 sheet that I want to go to. Um, I'd like to bring in the front view, side view, top view, isometric shot drag that to the side. I can add annotations, so dimensions that I've already applied in the drawing. So you can see here the other um, information comes through. If I click this um, view here, I'd like to add a weldment cut list. It's now brought all the information in from that, uh, that drawing file. I can actually insert more columns to it if I'd like. So I'd like uh, perhaps the cut angles would be handy, insert another column right, the angle 2, uh, the cut list acts the same as uh, an Excel so I can just double click on these columns just so they um, readjust and if we insert another column right, there we go that's my material column come through. So very quick, very simple. Some auto balloons would be uh, quite helpful on this design as well. I can reposition these views. I don't need uh, those dimensions there. Don't need that one. Don't need that one. I might like a nice overall view. It's really simple to add those in SolidWorks. So there's my 2300 in height. Um, it might be nice to get some detail views here. So if we just um, go, I can drag and drop a, a little detail view. SolidWorks automatically links that. I might want a, a section cut just so you can see the louver panels inside. So I can drag that around. Yeah, we can preview that. And if I cut perhaps 70 mil the way through, we can now see those louver panels, which again I can add a, a dimension to the two, which might be um, might be helpful. Okay, so very quick, very simple. If I now go to my view, I can just hide some uh, sketches. I might want to make that one a nice um, shaded picture. Again, we've got some information here. I want to put drawn by. I can link it to today's date and if we just apply that so we should see now it's picked up information straight from that part file I haven't had to complete my title block here so now I can go file save as save as a PDF all right and I can also save out as an e-drawing. So if I save out or publish it to e-drawings, that will give me the option to view this as a, a 3D file. So we can see here, that's it done. I can send this to the client. That then gives them the ability, if they want, to rotate and, and look at this particular part. Okay, so very quick, very simple, easy to do. My Excel table up the top here, also gives me the ability to right click, save out as an Excel file so I can then attach that to a purchasing or a quote list 
um, and done. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please check out our channel or the links on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe to receive updates on our recent videos.